Hey guys, Aaron here and welcome back to another Hearts Roundup video. Apologies for the delay in getting this one out but I've been trying to record this video all afternoon and the heavens have kept on opening every time I've sat down with the camera so if you can hear rain in the background or see a big flash of lightning in the video I'm very sorry but to be honest I've been trying this all day and if I leave it any longer I simply won't get it done so apologies if your viewing experience is interrupted in any way shape or form by the absolutely biblical conditions going on outside my bedroom window but without further ado let's get started so then quiet afternoon outside quiet afternoon in gorgie Pfft, aye right there's been so many bits of breaking news today that it's been a youtuber's dream to get these all covered and talked about for you on the channel first of all the breaking news is that robert snodgrass is set to sign for hearts a 34 year old Former Scotland international was a free agent after leaving Lowton Town in the summer and Motherwell have been trying for a while to get a hold of Snodgrass but talks have stalled and hearts have swooped in to bring in another much needed body. To be honest with you, Snodgrass well primarily a winger, I don't think he's going to play there much anymore, he's 34, he's lost a fair bit of his pace to be quite honest with you. So I think he'll fill that number 10 role that's been vacated by Liam Boyce obviously with his long-term knee injury, ruling him out for possibly the rest of the season. We really need another body in the middle of the park. A creative player with spark to really drive us forward and provide goals and assists from midfield. And I do think Snodgrass can do that. Obviously, he is getting on a fair bit now. But you know what? It's another very good free agent signing. I've not talked about this on camera yet, but Hearts did pick up Xander Clark the other day from the free agents, but he was just left St. Johnson, the 30-year-old. Cup double winning goalie is now Craig Gordon's backup and to be honest I think that'll be the end of Ross Stewart. He'll, he'll stay at the club but I can't see him making any further appearances. We've strengthened in the, the goalkeeping department excellently. Sam McClark's a fantastic signing and I do think Robert Snodgrass will have a similar effect. He provides depth, he provides quality, another body would desperately needed. So, welcome to Gorgie Robert and I hope that he can be a very, very solid player for us. Now looking forward to Thursday's game against Istanbul Besiktas here. I really, really hope I've said that right. I'll just call him Istanbul from now on to save me spitting that one out every five seconds. But yeah, regardless, two of their big danger men, the two players I was scared of most going into the tie, Nasser Chadley and Meza Ozil, both probably won't feature at Tyne Castle. Big man team, yeah. It's not looking good, Bev. It's not looking good. Chadley is currently in talks to secure a transfer away from the Turkish club, so he won't be playing as he looks to finalise his move away. But Ozil was the one I was absolutely petrified about. Yes, I know Barry McKay was going to show him exactly how to pass a football, but the point still stands. Ozil's an incredible footballer. He's won it all at Real Madrid. He's been a fantastic player for Arsenal in the Premier League. Obviously, I moved back to Fenerbahce hasn't worked out very well for him, and that's why he now finds himself at Bishakshi here. But... Ozil was going to be a massive, massive threat rocker up in Gorgie on Thursday night, but he's an injury doubt. He's not played in two weeks. Ozil and Chadley both being out admittedly does give me a little bit more confidence. Obviously, they're a very good team. They are fourth in the league. They're three points off top of a game in hand. They've not let in a single goal in league football, so they're obviously a very, very good outfit. Okay, I can respect that, but being without Chadley and Ozil does give me a little bit more confidence going into the first Conference League game of the group stages. So, will they still beat us? Probably, but you know what? I'd much rather play them without Chadley and Ozil than have to play them with their two star men. So, Ozil and Chadley are both set to miss the game on Thursday night. Encouraging news for the Hearts faithful, you must say. And as well as their two star men, Istanbul are set to be without their manager on the touchline as well. Former Newcastle midfielder Emre Belazoglu is the man in the hot seat in Istanbul, but he was found guilty of shadow coaching back in July, so he's going to be banned from the touchline at least. So that's another very interesting thing to be thrown into the mix. Without Ozil, without Chadley, and now without their manager on the touchline, it's, it's all going wrong for Istanbul ahead of his game at Tynecastle on Thursday. Belazoglu was banned because he's not got a recognised pro licence, so it's a bit of misfortune on Istanbul's part, but hey, any advantage I can take ahead of Thursday night, pfft, you'd better believe I'm snapping your hand off for it. So, two of the star men out, like I've said, and now it looks like there'll be no manager. Very, very interesting heading into the first Conference League game. 
That brings today's roundup video to a close. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like and a comment down below and let me know what you thought. Thank you for your incredible support as well for voting me in for the finals of this year's Football Content Awards. Fingers crossed we can make it to the final for three years in a row. I'll be back for a vlog of Istanbul at home and I'm really looking forward to vlogging our first Conference League group stage game under the lights at Tinkas. Also, just thank you for sticking by my channel this long. Because I'm going into the press, I'm, I've been less active on YouTube admittedly and I'm sorry about that. So the fact that you're all still here supporting me, I do really appreciate that you're supporting the videos, all my journalism stuff and just my content in general. It's still been incredible after all these years and thank you very much for sticking by me all this time. Don't you worry, I'm going nowhere any time soon. I'll see you on Thursday night. Until then, take care and bye for now.